Welcome back. Today I'm going to be previewing the NFL Combine, which starts on Monday. We're going to be looking at some high school track and high school combine data to go ahead and see which guys I think are going to perform really high at the combine and raise their draft stock. All the data and percentiles I'm using is coming from tracking football. Without saying much more, let's go ahead and get into our first guy. But before I do, actually, I do need to mention there are going to be some guys that aren't on this video that you're wondering, like, hey, where is this dude? Like Tyler Owens, um, Isaac Garendo, some dudes who are really going to ball at the combine that won't be in this video. And that's because they were on my past video. So if you want more guys that are going to do well at the combine, look at my video I did on athletes at the East West Shrine game, because I'm not going to double down on those players. I already kind of showed them. So go check out that East West Shrine video. If you want more players that are going to do well. So these players are guys that were not in that last video. So anyways, let's get into our first guy. All right, before I start going crazy on all these percentiles and data here, let me just reiterate, I say this in most of my videos, but all these percentiles are of all Division One athletes at that position. So I'll kind of explain here. We got Elijah Jones is my first player, a cornerback from Boston College, coming at 6'2", 184 in college. Now you can see he ran high school track, and so like with these percentiles, he ran a 10-6, 100-meter in high school, which is in the 97th percentile. That is the 97th percentile of all all cornerbacks playing division one football since 2010 so they're all per position d1 athletes since 2010 so this is the don't don't matter what state you come from doesn't matter how big you are doesn't matter how small you are all division one athletes at that position since 2010 so he ran a 10 600 a 6 4 5 55 a 21 25 200 meter all in like the top 90 percentiles. He's just elite quickness, but he also has some more long range speed. He ran a 35, 54, 300 meter, which is the 94th percentile, and part of a 41, 76, 4 by 1 team. Now, don't underrate relays. You guys probably might look at these videos and say, why are we looking at relays? I mean, he's only one quarter of that, but yeah, he's still a, like you guys, when you're talking about 41 seconds, like one dude in that span of that 100 can make a big impact on that time. And so don't underrate relays when we're talking about these things because they matter more than people think when you're talking about speed. But like you just see this dude has all the speed for 55 minutes up to 300. I think he's going to kill the 40-yard dash. And um, I don't know his agility. Um, we're going to have to see. But, I mean, he could easily crush that. But at 6'2", to be long like that and be as fast as he is, he's a dude that's going to rise his stock a lot at the combine. So watch out for Elijah Jones. The next dude I want to highlight is Jalen Wright, running back from Tennessee. This dude's been kind of getting a little hype on Twitter lately coming up for the combine. And you're about to see why. This dude's 5'11", 210. Very solid size for running back. He's got a little weight on him. Good 5'11 base. But this dude is fast. A 10, 5, 800 meter, which is the 97th percentile of running backs. But then the one of the most translatable track events to the 40-yard dash, the 55 meter. This dude ran a 6'25", 100th percentile out of all division one running backs since 2010 this dude has elite short area speed we also ran a 21 54 200 meter in the 98th percentile 6 7 2 60 100 percentile he was part of a three minute 1933 second four by four team which is 95th percentile this dude is going to be one of the fastest dudes of the combine and you can see it in every every metric you look this dude is fast he's going to fly in the 40 probably do well in the drills too and a running back that you need to keep your eye on because the running backs are very like why do, like everyone has their running backs in this class it's kind of a mismatch of who who likes this running back who likes this running back do like Jalen Wright balls out at the combine he, he might he might jump a lot of dudes in the, this running back class after his combine performance now we got to show some love for the bigger guys you know we have a little skill players here now we got Marshawn Nealon edge from Western Michigan He's 6'3 275 good size for an edge He's coming in, and this this dude is just an interesting athletic profile because you only think of big guys. A lot of the big guys are kind of showing here. You're like, hey, this dude, you know, really good shot put, really good discus. You know, this dude maybe had a good vert for his size, but this dude was just everything. I mean, this dude ran a 54 second 400, the 78th percentile, a 15 second 110 hurdles, like. This dude was out here doing the 110 hurdles at this size in the 79th percentile. That's kind of nuts if you ask me. But where this dude really shines, six foot six high jump in the 96th percentile. When I was talking about like jumps show explosiveness, I mean high jump can translate pretty closely to vertical. I mean you're jumping up and a vertical is a lot of things that teams have been kind of looking at to show explosiveness. This dude jumped a six foot six in the high jump in high school. I mean you know he's electric athlete he's going to be getting off the ball springing off the ball and the dude i showed in my 
Shrine video was Khalid Duke who had a good long jump and you can kind of see that translate on the field at the end position. Just having that high jump just shows you the explosiveness and this dude being able to get out of his stance, just explode out from his knees bent to explode out with your knees. That's really what that high jump is. You're exploding up versus out. So it's a little different, but still you see that explosiveness out of like a stance with Marshawn Neyland and a reason why he puts up some good numbers on some jumps at the combine and stuff. And I could see teams like, Hey man, this dude's rising up our boards a little. So keep an eye out for him coming out of Western Michigan, you know, not going to get as much recognition now, but he puts up a combine and he'll start getting more recognition. I, I can promise you that. Next up, we got a guy who sadly, it just came out yesterday that this dude's not competing at the combine, but I still want to show this man some love because if he were to compete at the combine and hopefully he will at his pro day, he was going to put up numbers. It's Cooper DeGene from Iowa. Dude, 6'1", 207. Great size for corner. Everyone's been hearing how freak of an athlete this dude is. And he is just that. He ran a 10'7", 100 in the 90th percentile. 21, 92, 200 meter in the 91st percentile. And then where you really see an explosiveness in the dude is the jumps. This was a 24-foot long jump in the 99th percentile. This dude was elite track athlete in high school. And it showed on the field in Iowa. And I mean, how this dude was so explosive. You see, like, in his punt returns and his, his pick returns once he gets his intercepts. Like, this dude's a freak. And I love jumps, man. These long jumps and triple jumps are where you can see a dude's explosive. You know, 100 meter, 55 meter, you can see some dude's speed. But when you start getting into, like, long jumps, triple jumps, that's when you see the explosiveness. Dude, like Cooper Jean, you can tell he has that explosiveness. He has the speed. I really wish he was competing at the combine, but he's not. But this will do. Yeah, you say, hey, he's not competing at the combine. How do we know how athletic he is? Right here. This is how we know how athletic he is because he was an elite track athlete, and I think he's going to show that hopefully at his pro day if he does compete there. We're going to keep rolling through these players. Next up, we got Trevin Wallace, linebacker from Kentucky. 6'2", 241. Bigger linebacker coming out of college. This dude did everything in high school track. I mean, you could see the speed and the explosiveness. Ran 11 second, 100 meter in the 93 percentile for linebackers. Part of a 41 second, 4x1 team in the 97th percentile. 96 percentile, 200 meter. I mean, this dude has all the speed. But he's also got the jumps, man. 6'2", high jump, which, by the way, Six foot two high jump is good. That's in the 84th percentile. So just like that even just shows how crazy your Marshawn Nealon six foot six high jump was. But six foot two for Trevor Wallace is still really good. And then a 23 foot long jump in the 100th percentile. I expect Trevor Wallace to test off the charts. Kind of like, kind of like, I, he's not the same kind of dude as Jameen Davis coming out of Kentucky, but just, you know, how like Jameen Davis was just such a freak athlete that he really just shot up boards and went way earlier than everyone was expecting. Trevin Wallace, maybe not as big of a jump as Jameen Davis had, but like Trevin Wallace, I mean, like, teams are looking for those athletic linebackers now. You want dudes who can cover space, they can cover tight ends, you know, they can cover receivers if they really have to. You don't want them to, but they could if they really had to and just cover space and run sideline to sideline again. Play those 49ers teams, you know, that love to stretch the sides of the field. I mean, dude like Trevin Wallace and his athleticism, it's a very highly coveted trait that NFL teams are looking for. And when this dude tests off the charts, you're going to be hearing Trevin Wallace's name a lot more come draft time. Now we got a pair of two receivers to keep your eye on to kind of th – finish things off and then I got a list of five honorable mention dudes at the end but jumping into these receivers we got Roman Wilson these everyone knows who Roman Wilson is maybe you don't know how good athletic he is you know he was cooking dudes at the senior ball on his routes but not people know how crazy athletic this dude is he's six foot 192 coming out of Michigan but this dude at his High school track ran a 10 6, 800, so he's got that speed. But what I really want to highlight is some of this high school combine data because, I mean, that's like the most direct trans translation you're going to get. High school combine to NFL combine. They're same events, just four, five, three, three to five, three to six years apart, depending on how long you stay in college. But he had a 39 inch vert, which is in the 97th percentile, 396 shuttle, 99th percentile, 43740 in the 99th percentile. I mean, he put these numbers up at the NFL combine, and that's a hell of a combine. I expect him to do even better because he's been in college training for the last like four years now. So I expect these numbers to be even better coming to the NFL combine. A dude who's going to be like, when you start looking at those RAS and the, you know, tracking football. Pro combine scores, you start looking at all these combine scores, this dude's going to be one of the top scorers all around because he has the jumps, the agility, the speed, everything Roman Wilson. He's just got all of the around. He's a little bit of a smaller guy, but, I mean, you take that height away, and this dude is just elite in every other metric you look at. Now we're going from a small, shifty receiver 
to a big athletic receiver. We got everyone. This is probably the highest profile dude on here other than Cooper DeGene. But we got Rome Adunze, wide receiver from Washington. six foot three, two fifteen, coming out of Washington. And this dude was another elite track and combine performer coming out of high school. You can see his track numbers. I mean, 10, 6, 700, 21, 25, 200. Part of a 41 second, 4 by one I mean, this dude was fast. Just elite track speed, but he also had his combine man. You think like a dude like six foot three, two fifteen, one's a good hundred. Okay, this is like a straight line dude, right? Like you know, he's just fat, like a DK Metcalf. Like this dude, big and fast, and he flies in one direction. No, that is not true when it comes to Roman dudes. He ran a four second shuttle, which is the 90th percentile of all Division One receivers. All Division One receivers since 2010 do the 90th percentile on the shuttle. Shuttles back and forth, and you touch, touch through the middle. Like that is. Agility, not only is this dude big and fast, but he's agile. He also ran a 4.5540 in the 87th percentile. So, like, this dude, Roma Dunze, yet again, get out your combine calculators because this dude's going to be one of the top dudes, especially with the calculators that that include, like, height and weight. I mean, for his – there might not be a better, like, pound-for-pound kind of dude in this class when you take in height, weight, speed, and agility. Like, you might not get much better than Roma Dunze in this class. And it's kind of hard for him to really up his stock much more in this draft because he's already, like, a top-10 dude. But, I mean, if there's a, if there's a way, his combine's going to do that because he should blow up the combine. I, I just pray he competes in every event because usually some of these top dudes don't do. But if he does, watch out for Roma Dunze. He's going to put up numbers that are going to be crazy. Now we're just going to close out thing with a couple honorable mentions. These dudes are kind of had a couple. They're probably going to have elite combos. I just had like a couple things I want to shout out for them. Didn't want to make this video too long. But we got Drake Nugent, center from Michigan. This was an elite thrower in high school. 57 shot with a 163 foot discus. This dude has raw power. I expect him, especially on like the bench press and stuff, to put up numbers. And you like to see that strength and explosiveness. Probably going to do well in the jumps too because shot and disc takes explosiveness. So Drake Nugent's a guy to watch out for. Next up was Will Shipley, running back from Clemson. I did not know he had this kind of speed in him because he ran a 6'3", 655, which was in the 98th percentile coming out of high school, along with a 4'4", 640 coming out of high school. So, I mean, he's a great receiving back out of Clemson, but he's also got that elite speed. He's a guy I'm really looking forward to. He's a kick returner, too, at Clemson. So, you know he's got that speed, athleticism, and open field ability that another guy who could shoot up boards come combine time. Next up, Jermaine Burton, receiver from Alabama, formerly Georgia, transferred over to Bama two years ago. He ran a 395 shuttle uh, coming out of high school, 99 percentile, along with a 39 inch vert. He's another dude that could test well off the charts. He's kind of like one of those middle guys that people, you know, some people are high on him, some people are lower on him. He puts together a solid combine. He could really put himself in that day two conversation as one of the top day two receivers. In this draft class, next up we got one of one of dudes I find really interesting. We got Nook Bradford, DB out of TCU. Dude ran a 10.6200 in the 99th percentile and a 43.2 inch vert. Another guy you can see he's got the speed and explosive. I put him. I expect him to put up a well-rounded performance and shoot himself up in that safety class. You know he just makes me think of my man Mark Perry. You know, dude, I highlighted in my East to West Shrine video. I don't know how he didn't get him by the combine, but him and Nook could have put up some numbers coming out of TCU. But Nook will hold it down for TCU at the Combine. And then we got Jace McLellan, my last guy, running back from Bama. He was an elite high school Combine performer coming out with a four-second shuttle in the 97th percentile, along with a 39-inch vert. He's just a solid running back, man. He he's, doesn't have that elite speed, but he's that elite quickness, interior, and ability to read. Kind of like... I mean, it's kind of weird to compare him to JSN, but like, kind of just things like JSN where like, you don't look at him and you're like, damn, he's that elite long speed, but everything else, I mean, he's quick, he's explosive in and out of his cuts, and just everything else he does well. So another guy to keep your eye on in this stacked running back class. That is going to do it for this video. I'm going to keep the videos rolling as we come into draft season, start getting into gems and stuff. I'm kind of waiting for the combine to start doing more deep dives on late round profiles and stuff, and we'll get the pro day data coming in. It's an exciting time for the NFL draft along with the NFL offseason starting. Make sure you guys like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out some of my other videos. I've been doing seven rounds, full mock drafts, different athletes. Like if you if you like this track stuff, I got tons of videos on my channel with different tracks. I've got like highlighting East West Shrine guys. I've got videos highlighting some of the college guys back in the summer. I'm gonna keep rolling out this track because I think that's really the untapped market that people are kind of starting to realize now is how valuable track data can be to athleticism. And it's almost sometimes a better measure than just looking at 40s and MPH because it really shows when it comes down to how athletic they are. 
So I'll see you guys for the next one. Make sure, like I said, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.